In this video, I'm talking about the differences between wireless hearing aid technologies and which hearing aids have each type. Coming up. Hi guys, Dr. Cliff AUD here with HearingTracker.com, the leading independent consumer review platform for hearing aids, hearing care professionals, and hearing centers. Make sure you don't miss any of our new videos by clicking the subscribe button below. Wireless technology inside of hearing aids has been around for a while and that technology continues to progress. It started in the 1970s with the telecoil and then we started seeing other technologies like near field magnetic induction, frequency modulation otherwise known as FM, and now we find ourselves working into the world of Bluetooth. And the most amazing thing about these wireless technologies is that every single one of them is still relevant. First, let's talk about the telecoil. A telecoil is a small coil that goes inside of a hearing aid. Of course, that hearing aid has to be big enough to hold that telecoil, but once it has one, it can gain access to an electromagnetic field that's given off by a teleloop. Now, you can find teleloops by looking for signs like this in certain facilities like churches and movie theaters, but once you gain access to that electromagnetic field, essentially all of the sound that's being picked up on the stage or from the movie is being sent right right into your hearing aids wirelessly, and it will help you hear substantially better. Second, we have near field magnetic induction. Near field magnetic induction is a low power, short distance form of wireless transmission. It's typically used for ear to ear communication. So if you have two hearing aids, those two hearing aids can communicate back and forth and it doesn't take an immense amount of power to do so. This type of technology will help you hear better substantially in a background noise situation, which is why they like to use it inside of hearing aids. This technology also lets your hearing aids communicate with a streaming device, and a streaming device will be able to communicate with different wireless technologies or wired technologies. What'll happen is your hearing aids will communicate with the streamer, the streamer will communicate with whatever technology you're trying to hear, like the TV or your cell phone, and it will take that signal and send it right into your hearing aids. This type of technology is great because it is extremely low power, so it doesn't sap your batteries in your hearing aids, but it is very short distance, so you need to be wearing the streamer at all times when you want to be streaming this wireless signal. Third, let's talk about frequency modulation or FM. FM systems are extremely popular in schools and in conference centers. Essentially, anytime that you have a group that's further away from the main talker, you want to use something like an FM system to take the sound of that main talker and send it into either your hearing aids or into a sound field speaker that's closer to the group. This is great because it cuts down in the distance that sound has to travel before an individual can hear it. Also, it will help that signal cut through background noise extremely well. And fourth, let's talk about the one that everyone wants to hear about, which is Bluetooth technology. Bluetooth has been around for a while, but with the advent of Bluetooth Low Energy, it has allowed hearing aids to directly connect with other Bluetooth devices without having to have a streamer. Now this has been great for the iPhone, which directly connects with hearing aids and can stream audio into both ears, but you can also Bluetooth with Android phones, you just don't have the streaming capabilities. Bluetooth technology is great, but it does consume more battery life, so don't be surprised if you have to change your hearing aid batteries more often, or if you have to charge your hearing aids more often. On top of that, this technology is generally proprietary, so you can't just pair with whatever device you want, you have to make sure that the device that you have is compatible with your particular hearing aids. All right, so those are the main forms of wireless technologies. Now let's talk about which hearing aids have which type of technology. Number one is the Phonak Audio B Direct, which uses Bluetooth technology to communicate directly with a smartphone. Now, you'll be able to stream phone calls into one ear with the Audio B Directs, but you won't be able to stream other audio directly from a smart device. What you can do is get the TV connector box to connect with your TV so you can stream TV into both of your hearing aids, but otherwise, if you want to use other wireless wireless technologies, you'll have to go away from the Audio B Direct and go to one of the other product lines that Phonak has, like the Sky devices, the Naida devices, the other Audio devices, and the Bolero devices. All of these have access to near-field magnetic induction, so you can use them with all of their different wireless accessories. They also have telecoils and FM systems available for these as well. Number two is the Oticon Open Hearing Aids, which use Bluetooth to directly connect with a smartphone. It will connect with an Android phone, but it won't be able to stream any phone calls. If you want to stream phone calls with Android, you're going to have to get the Connect Clip. It will directly stream with an iPhone, and these hearing aids also have telecoil availability inside of them, and they also have access to a power aid. 
Third, you have the Lynx 3D and the Enzo 3D devices from Resound. These devices are great because they use Bluetooth technology so you can communicate directly with the smartphone, you can stream directly from iPhone, you can do other remote capabilities with an Android phone. If you want to stream from an Android phone, you can use their phone clip. Otherwise, you can use all of their other wireless accessories, so you still have access to the great portfolio that Resound has, so you don't have to worry about giving that up just to get the Bluetooth connectivity. Fourth, you have the Starkey Halo IQ and the Muse IQ. The Halo IQ are the Bluetooth devices that will directly connect with an iPhone, and the Muse IQ devices are the ones that use their 900 megahertz radio transmission to communicate with their Surflink devices. So you have to really decide which one of those are right for you, depending on what your needs are. Fifth is the Unitron Moxie All. It's very similar to the Phonak Audeo B Direct in terms of what their wireless capabilities are, which is no surprise because both of these companies are actually owned by Sonova. Sixth is the new Widex Evoke technology, which lets you directly connect with a smartphone using Bluetooth technology, but they also have access to a telecoil and they have access to their wireless DeX accessories. And seventh, you have the Signia Pure Charge and Go and Signia Silk devices. These devices use Bluetooth technology, but they also have ear-to-ear -ear communication. This technology lets you do pretty much anything. You can do wireless charging, you can do connectability with a smartphone, of course, direct streaming from an iPhone. You can also use cross with it, which is something that's different than most of these other technologies. It's kind of something all just bundled into one. The Signia Silk devices also use wireless technology for ear-to-ear -ear communication, and you can connect to their other accessories through the EasyTech Streamer. Overall, wireless technology has made huge strides and made a massive impact on the capabilities of hearing aids. And just when you think they can't do anything more with wireless technology, something new comes along. So if you're not happy with the level of wireless technology that is out there right now, just wait because it'll continue to get better. That's it for this video. Hopefully you found it informative. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.